What exactly are play to earn NFT games? How can you profit from the NFT gaming frenzy and the scams you should be aware of before you get started? Guys, it's Pilar Newman and today we're going over the immense opportunity that is NFT gaming, also referred to as blockchain gaming and crypto gaming. So let's dive right in. What is an NFT? In the simplest of terms, an NFT or non-fungible token is a one-of-a-kind digital asset that can be traded, it can be bought and sold. Examples of digital assets can be things such as artwork, sports memorabilia, virtual real estate, among many other things. To put this into perspective, when you think of things in the real world, you might have a car, a house, a pet, maybe a piece of artwork hanging in your living room. These are all unique assets in the real world. Similarly, NFTs are digital representations of items that exist solely on the internet. The NFT serves as proof of ownership of that unique digital asset. Now, whenever there is a transaction of an NFT, such as if someone were to buy or sell an NFT, that transaction is recorded and stored on a network of computers known as the blockchain. And those transactions are open for anyone to see. You can kind of compare it almost to buying a house in the real world. The deed to your house is the official document stating you have an ownership of that property. And that property deed is recorded and it becomes a public record for anyone to see. At the end of the day, an NFT is a certificate of ownership of a digital asset that is recorded. How do NFTs pertain to gaming? When you look at traditional gaming, generally you purchase a game, you play that game, and along the way you earn gear, cosmetic skins, cards, and other in-game accessories as rewards. But say after six months of playing that game, you grow tired of it and you move on to another game. Well, you can't bring those assets along with you that you've earned. You essentially lose everything when you stop playing. So there's no real world value in accumulating those gaming assets. In blockchain-based games, you can actually turn your gaming hours into an investment, and that's because in these types of games, you are given ownership of the gaming assets you earn via an NFT. And as with anything that can be owned, the asset can also be sold for real-world money. So imagine you earn a golden hatchet NFT in a blockchain-based game, that unique hatchet NFT is now owned by you and you hold that asset in your own personal digital wallet, kind of like a real world wallet where you hold your cash. The cool thing about this is that the NFT can actually exist outside of the game itself and you can move around the NFT asset to another blockchain game depending on whether the developer of that game allows it. And even if the original game where you earned your NFTs were to cease to exist one day, your gaming assets would continue to live on on the public blockchain. There are many ways to make money with play to earn gaming NFTs. Let's take Fortnite here as an example. Now imagine Fortnite offered NFTs for cosmetic skins you earned and other rewards that you unlocked during your gameplay. Some of these items could potentially give players an advantage in the game. And since NFTs are uniquely owned assets, you can sell your NFTs to another gamer and make a profit from this transaction. Typically, it's the demand for a particular game that can increase the value of NFTs in that game. Now, other games such as Axie Infinity require you to have an NFT just to play the game. In fact, you need three Axie NFTs just to get started, and these can cost you anywhere from $50 to $1,000 or more per Axie. Axies essentially become these sort of collectible gaming characters. Axies that you breed in the game can also be sold. Additionally, you can buy and sell virtual land in the game using their in-game cryptocurrency token. These are just a few of the things that make Axie Infinity one of the most popular play-to-earn NFT games around.
So the great thing about making money with NFT gaming is that you don't even have to be a gamer to actually make money in the sector. As a non-gamer, you can collect NFT items and resell them at a higher value, or you can even rent them out, sort of like what a landlord does. One way to increase your chances of earning a profit is to get in early on new gaming NFTs by purchasing these NFTs during a pre-launch known as an NFT drop. This allows you to buy NFTs early before a game even launches. So just imagine if you had bought Axie NFTs during their pre-launch at rock bottom prices. You could have resold those Axies for huge profits today. But it doesn't even end there, guys. If you don't want to bother with learning how to buy and resell NFTs, but you still want to profit from blockchain games, then you can buy in-game cryptocurrencies on a marketplace such as Voyager and hold these crypto tokens just like you would a stock. You buy them now and you hold them if you believe they will increase in value. For example, the in-game crypto token for Axie Infinity is AXS. Had you purchased $1,000 dollars of the token at launch in November of 2020, then that investment would be worth $214,873 a year and a half later. That's an over 21,000% return, and it's actually gone much higher since then. Similarly, you can buy MANA, which is the crypto token for Decentraland, and SAND, which is the token for the Sandbox game. By the way, there is a link to Voyager below this video that will give you $25 in free crypto when you deposit and trade $100 using my referral code below. I will also earn a $25 reward, and it's just one way that helps to support this channel. So everything sounds super amazing, so what could possibly go wrong? Well, whenever there is a lot of money to be made, there are also a slew of scammers jumping at the opportunity to scam you. And one of the most notable scams to be aware of is what is known as the rug pull scams. So here's the thing, since the public blockchain is decentralized, that means that any Joe Schmo can create a game from scratch with little to no money, hype it up, pre-sell NFTs for that game, and then take off with your money without ever having to actually launch a game. As a matter of fact, the crypto gaming space is riddled with scams like this. Take for instance, investors who spent millions on Evolved Apes NFTs, they got scammed to the tune of $2.7 million, Yup, the developer behind the project hyped up the game, they did excellent marketing, and then they ran away with everyone's money never to be seen again. I'll link the full story down below in case you want to read it. So the gaming NFT sector is in its earliest stages right now, so there are plenty of scams to look out for. The business is risky, and my best advice to you is to do your own research first and look past the hype before you decide to invest in a new NFT game. Or you can also invest in games that are a bit more established, such as Axie Infinity and Gods Unchained. Hey guys, do me a quick favor. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more money making opportunities and side hustles that you don't want to miss. That's it for this video. My name is Pilar Newman and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.